Let's go this way. Okay. 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 It's not gonna be good pictures. Don't have a um, picture. My value died. Uh, no, you see what kind of pictures you want to see? Are you taking a movie? What's up? I don't have enough memory there. Church banner? We're gonna take pictures. No, I've got some pictures. Okay. So, uh, I'll take pictures. I'll take pictures. I'll take pictures. I'd like to download the email. Did you ever hold a snake? No. Like a white snake, I see a white one. Blow a pipe, yeah. What's in here? Oh, there's a snake. Yeah, it's a It's green. This is like brown, yeah. It's a snake. There's a snake skin in there. Now, the show is going to be starting now, guys. If you have not seen the show, it's beginning now. No problem. Have a good time, okay? some of the animals that we have out here in the Everglades. What I have here is a very, very common snake throughout most of really the southern United States. This is a yellow rat snake. Now, there's a lot of different types of rat snakes. There's a red rat snake, there's a black rat snake, there's an Everglades rat snake, there's a yellow rat snake, and if I'm not mistaken, there is even a gray rat snake. Now, can be found in trees, every, really everywhere, and you'll find them climbing up a pine tree with really no problem. They're pretty good at it. It's called the Jacobson's organ, and he's making per perception of what is. No, 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 don't touch on me. <laughs> this particular one isn't quite the nicest. He's bitten me and a few of my colleagues a couple times. Now, with that said, he has bitten me a few times. This is non-venomous. If this animal bites you, it is going to simply sting, and that is it. <laughs> it will not kill you. No venom. He is not considered to be a constrictor. He's However, gonna bite you right now. Uh, don't worry. If he bites me, you won't feel a thing. <laughs> <laughs> However, he will operate very similarly. You guys will grab a rat. there for the person's experience so I really can't comment on it however in my own experience animals normally do things out of necessity 
They usually do things with self-preservation in mind. What is a snake like this going to get out of chasing you down and biting you? Nothing but dead. So, I don't personally feel an animal like this wants anything to do with you. Some people feel otherwise. I do not believe that anybody here is going to go to Africa and run down a lion. <laughs> we understand, right? right? That's kind of my thinking. Any questions before I jump in with the alligators? Do not worry, they do not fly. One more year and I'm a professional. He likes the yellow. He saw the yellow and he thinks it's a, a mate. Very, very pretty animal that's unfortunately very misunderstood. No, I'm sorry, not this one. Okay. <laughs> now, folks, before I jump in with the alligators, I want to be painfully honest with you. I do not know where you are from, but as far as we are... What's in there? Alligator food. What kind of alligator food? It was the kid from the last of the show. <laughs> <laughs> what well, we are feeding these guys today is cut pieces of chicken. Okay? We'll feed them cut pieces of just about anything you can come up with. So folks, you've probably never heard, other than me just saying it, that they are considered to be the smartest reptiles on Earth. You've probably never heard that dogs kill more people in the, um, in the United States, more, excuse me, more people are killed by dogs in the United States than are killed by alligators every year. Facts like that you just don't hear unless you're involved with them because fear is one of the number one sellers on this planet. Alligators are dangerous. They've attacked people. They have killed people. They'll do it again. They are far from mindless. This one right here is gonna be my best bet. This particular alligator's name is Slim. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a piece of chicken, which I really wish was a lot bigger. It was all around the mouth. I'm gonna try to drive the animal a little bit crazy. I want that alligator to want this piece of chicken. If he comes out, I will feed him. If he does not come out, I will not feed him. And the reason we do that is because we want them to come out and interact with us, especially on days like this. Slim. Do you want to snack? Come. Come. Now what I'm doing here, I have been bitten doing before, so I try and do it very carefully. Do not let this slow, lazy behavior fool you. They're incredibly fast. One swing of that tail, and they can be up and on this dirt before you can take a picture. Now the reason I'm going side to side like this is because I'm trying to create some momentum. You can use momentum with animals, and what I'm doing is if I can get them to pick it up a little bit, I'll speed what I'm doing up and slip. Come. Yeah, old Bobby there, that's actually my favorite alligator. However, I know better than to try him. Typically on cold days, he's on strike. Bobby. Come, come, come on. He does know his name. They all know their names, and you will certainly see a little bit more of that. However, that does not mean I'll be able to get them out for you. Slim, come. What I'm doing right now, Slim, come, is my best bet. Slim, come. So I go side to side. I have a little bit of momentum. If I can get those back legs, I'll be doing a lot better off again. I have been nailed on the hand doing this. So I try and do it very carefully. I have ended up in the water with my legs wrapped around the alligator trying to get my hand back. Slim, do you want some more? So it is responding. However, it does not get the reward unless it comes out. It's just like any other training. You don't reward them unless they get it right. Slim, do you want some more? You don't get rewarded for begging. You ever seen an alligator beg for chicken? That's what it looks like. <laughs> oh yeah, they can bite. Do not kid yourself. These guys are fully capable. They can do anything you have ever seen done by an alligator. Slim, come, come. Very good, all right. And now it gets its reward. Okay. And that way you teach the animal that if it comes out, it will be rewarded for its behavior. However, you don't give them the big piece because then they go, oh, I got something really big back into the water. Okay. Now that I was able to get this animal out, I'll be able to show you a little bit more of what we've accomplished. Remember, this animal is fully capable. It knows I'm here, obviously. It can run, it can bite. I'm well within its bite range. They're incredibly fast if they want to be. It simply knows me. Okay, that may sound unusual, but just because you've never seen this before is the only reason that you find it hard to believe. The brain is right here, about this big. 
ears are on either side. Very good senses, better than a dog. The eyes, they can sink down into the head. It is so that they do not lose them in a fight. They fight over the same things we do, dirt girls and food. <laughs> on either side of the neck, you have your two primary jaw muscles. This is where your power comes from. If anybody here has ever seen the trick where the guy reaches into the mouth, pulls him out real fast, there's one way to do it. You will never see that done from the side. The animal can see this. The guy will lose his hand. They cannot see in front of their face. They rely on all these little black dots to tell them what's going on. So those are the same dots that I was using to get the animal out of the water. If you don't touch it, you can't see it. You touch it, it'll react. That's how that's done. There is no, oh, he almost got me to it. They simply rely on the touch. It is a reaction. Okay. Hey, Bobby. Do they, do they eat people? They have, but they don't normally. As I said, dogs kill more people every year than alligators do. You're not afraid of dogs, are you? No. Yeah. Okay. Slim. The bony bumps along their backs, these are called scutes. They're very tough. They act as an armor and as a solar panel. They're cold-blooded. They'll sit in the sun, warm themselves up. If they can't bring their temperature up, the animal won't grow, it won't function. They'll actually be at a standstill. The tail is solid muscle. If any one of these guys were to curl it back and swat me, at this size, they're not gonna do too much damage. If this guy right here were to curl it back and nail me, at this size, he could break ribs, knock teeth out. This guy here is plenty big enough to really ruin your day. However, this is my favorite. This is Bobby. This is the coolest alligator on the planet. Unfortunately, when it's cold out, he's typically on strike. <laughs> Any questions? Um, you know, those guys, they know it, they do it. I've just got their behavior pretty well figured out for the individuals. These guys may respond to me, it's just they're gonna just sit there and kinda go, yeah, okay, here, good. <laughs> this one right here, greedy. That's the response you get out of greedy. And then that one's His Fat Albert. Is still open. I'm sorry? His mouth is still open. The reason they do that, there's two reasons for that. One, he's kind of waiting for something to touch the mouth. The other is if you see him on like National Geographic and they're sitting there with their mouth open, they're regulating their temperature like a dog would, panting. Okay. Any other question? And we have one over there named the killer, but uh, he's the biggest cold sissy we have. Any other questions? We guess this animal right around its teens, 13, 14, the bigger guys, later 20s, early 30s. The oldest alligator in captivity is in its 70s, still alive. Slim, do not go back in the water. Slim, do you want some more? Do you want some more? Slim, come. Yeah, don't go back in the water, thank you. Does he ever come to eat? Yeah, of course, he gets hungry. I don't know why he's named the killer. Huh? That water's coming out of the ground naturally at about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So he's sitting over down there where the water's the warmest in the pond. You'll notice he's sitting on the bottom. He's just, he hates winter. Any other questions? What are you doing there now? Right now I'm just scratching some of the algae off his back. Um, you know, when they sit in the water for long periods of time, they'll grow a little bit of algae on them. And uh, it's not, you know, it's not great for them. It's not terrible. It's not going to really hurt them. But in the winter, they sit in the water for very long. <laughs> an alligator has got a very wide, rounded head. Crocs are very pointed. Teeth on an alligator, you should really see top teeth only. On a crocodile, you will see them all. So folks, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring out a little one. I'm going to bring him around the outside of the fence. Please do not reach out and try and touch him. He has got all his teeth, and I promise if he grabs you, it will be a super awesome experience. <laughs> At the end of the show, if you would like to hold and take a picture with him, we do ask for a $3 donation. If you guys will please just stay seated just a moment, and I'll be right back with the little one. Everybody will please have a seat for me. I'll be right back. 